It's being called a heat dome. A large high pressure system in the upper atmosphere called a heat dome has developed over the western United States, trapping sweltering heat. With temperatures in excess of 110 degrees, the dome is preventing weather systems from coming through. St. George utility companies are asking consumers to conserve energy and water during this extreme heat wave. So if we can ask our customers to help conserve power, particularly between 3 p.m. and 7 p.m., it helps us manage the system better. And when we're having heat this high, other areas within our region, like California or Arizona, are also having this kind of heat wave. And so the regional grid experience stresses that trickle down into the smaller grids like the city of St. George. Combined with severe drought conditions, the heat dome is causing major concern for the energy grid. The city of St. George and Dixie Power recently teamed up and sent out a new color-coded alert system advising consumers how to cut back on power use during their use less, save more efforts. Red alert days are three or more days in a row of temperatures in excess of 110 degrees. So a red alert, we're really asking people to look at what you're doing energy-wise. If you have an electric vehicle, please don't plug it in during the day. Let it charge overnight. If you don't use your oven today, take the opportunity to toss a salad or grill outside. If you're, you know, you're going to need to do laundry or wash your dishes, do it well after 7 p.m., which is after our peak time. Close the drapes to keep the heat out of your house. To you have your air conditioner work less hard. It helps us as we're managing the grid, but it helps you because you will also save money on your power bill. Fleming said while so far there isn't a shortage of power or fines to go with usage, they are asking consumers to be aware, especially during the orange and red alert days. During orange days, people are asked to run water devices like dishwashers outside of the peak demand hours. And while you might be thinking washing dishes by hand will save water, think again. Uh, but if you have a dishwasher that's less than 10 years old, you will probably use less water if you run it through the dish, a full load through your dishwasher. Because if you think about how you wash dishes by hand, you fill up your sink, so there's at least probably a gallon. Then you run, you're washing it and you keep running the water while you rinse the dishes and it's coming out at a gallon and a half a minute. Fleming said there are other indoor water actions that you can take. Turning the water off when you brush your teeth taking a shorter shower. Those are really simple conservation actions you can take, but what you do outside can have the biggest bang for the buck because we use about 60% of our water outside. Other conservation measures include cutting back on watering outdoors to three times a week. If you have brown spots in your lawn or need to water your trees and bushes, do it with a hose. They are out there with their hose, they're watching how much water they put on and they'll put on only what they need to get a uh, 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 water into the soil for that area. They won't have water runoff. They won't be irrigating a large area that's already getting taken care of by the sprinkler system. But really, if your grass is going to go brown, it will come back. If you are concentrating on what you want to want to last in your landscape, water your trees and your shrubs. Parks and golf courses will also be asked to conserve water. There are also free irrigation checks you can do through the Washington County Water Conservancy District, as well as rebates to remove forage that uses a lot of water. While Fleming doesn't anticipate costs going up now, they could in the future. To find out what type of alert we may be in, go to the City of St. George's Facebook page or to PowerSource websites for daily updates. You click on the City's website or on the Dixie Power website, you can sign up to get an automated email and then I'm, you'll get an email every day that tells you what the status is. Fleming expects these alerts to continue through August. In St. George, Melissa Anderson, Community Education News.